Well, hello everyone and thank you for joining us again on another episode of Leading on Mondays. My name is Flori Lungu and I'm so delighted to be with you today. And today I'm joined as usual by my teaching partner, Madalina Guinness. Welcome, Madalina. Hey, Florin. Hello, everyone. It's nice to be here again to discuss about the next episode in our self-leadership series. And today we are going to talk about the personal growth, uh, and how leaders can improve their personal growth. Absolutely, and I, and I love that uh, that topic. Uh, as a matter of fact, um, if, if I may start, you know, when I started my my uh, company, right, I called it Become a Best Version, right? Uh, because yes. for me, <laughs> I mean, for me, that was a, like a, a, a vision which was big enough for me to get excited and, and to stay on a journey. But if you think about becoming your best, your best version, the whole idea is for us to improve ourselves. And when it comes to personal growth, I think that's what we're actually doing. So in order for us to um, overcome the next challenge, in order for us to go to the next level of, of results in our life, in any area of our life, we need to grow, right? The next challenge will be, will, will require a bigger and better version of myself. Yes. So for me, become your best version is actually kind of the mantra of my business and it you know it, it says about my approach to personal growth it's nice that you already mentioned uh, what is your definition of personal growth i can just add something from my perspective <clears throat> personal growth in my case it means to develop yourself to become better every single day it's not like you need to you need to be somewhere or you need to do some specific thing to uh to understand that you uh, grow uh, among the the way so it's important for us instead of setting a goal to uh enjoy the journey and to try to make one small step at least every single day and um I would like to ask you next, uh, Florin, how can you know that you are growing or how does somebody know if they are growing? What yeah, are the what are the signs? That's a really good question. And, and whenever I'm asked that thing, um, you know, what comes to mind is asking the person, are you still excited about your results from last month? Or, or last quarter? Are you still excited by your last vacation? Or are you talking more about your next vacation? Are you still mm -hmm. excited by your last achievement? Or are you talking more about your next challenge? Because whenever we're excited and, and we're satisfied and we're happy with what we have achieved, then it means that we're not really growing, like we're not really seeking the next level. And, and mm -hmm. there is no reason why we should not seek the next level. Like there is a, you know, there is a, we have to be careful because we don't want to always look for the next thing and never be satisfied with what we have. I think yes. that kind of the, the mindset should be always be grateful for what you have achieved, but never satisfied, right? So yeah. grateful, but never satisfied. You know, we don't want to be, always looking for the next thing and never live in the present. So when you think about growth and, and thinking about if you're growing or not, then that's one of the indications. And, and I see, and when I see people posting what Facebook reminds them, well, this is a memory for six years ago. And, and you, yeah. you say, well, oh, there were so nice, nice times. Like, you know, I really enjoyed this trip or I really enjoyed this. I said, well, okay, so if you're posting this, you know, from six years ago, and you have nothing more exciting than that to post, you know, in the in the more, you know, near, near past, or, or near future, then it's a sign that you have not, you know, done a lot since then. So mm -hmm. for me, if we talk, if, if, if I hear someone talking about more about their past and past results, and not a lot about their plans and the future results that I want to create, that's a sign that maybe they're not growing. They're not stretching themselves enough. 
Yeah, that's a very, uh, very good point. As you mentioned, I was also thinking about my past uh, stories <laughs> from previous years. And I remember this quote, as you were mentioning, this is a quote that helped me a lot uh, in my personal development growth. If I'm excited about what I did yesterday, not yesterday per se, but in the past, uh, that means that I I am not doing something important today, so I can grow. And whenever in the past, uh, well, in the past months, maybe years, when I post a memory from previous years, I just say something. How did I grow since that moment? Mm -hmm. What did I do since that time? Because it's important also for us to uh, enjoy the moments that we had in the past but still take the lesson what we did then and where we are now and compare did you grow did you do anything excited did you get out of your comfort zone this is another sign did you get out of your comfort zone or not uh did you uh do whatever you wanted to do five years ago are you on the way of achieving that or not so this might be signs of anybody, uh, for anybody to know if they are on a personal growth or not. And I would like to um, actually discuss a little bit about uh, the difference between the goal oriented and uh, growth oriented or mm -hmm. fixed mindset and growth mindset. Sure. Um, first of all, let me ask you, Florine, in, in your case, where are you? Are you on a fixed mindset or are you on a growth mindset? Well, well, I hope I am on a growth mindset. I hope this is my I hope this is my mindset and, and you know people around me believe the same. But but let me tell you kind of how that showed up for me because you you mm -hmm. actually made a really good you know differentiation between having a, a being goal oriented or being growth oriented right and well, and you know how how it showed up for me in the past if you would have taken a, a you know a car trip or or just go somewhere on a vacation with me i was the person which was focused on the destination so yeah. i would make your your journey you know a nightmare because i didn't want to stop i didn't want to take breaks i didn't want to um, you know, go sightseeing, like just uh, take a side track or take a side road, just because I was focused. You know, I my plan was that by this date and this time we should be there. And thinking about you know having like eight hours uh, car trips from Romania to 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 Greece or 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 Turkey, and and think about that, like people were just stuck in the car with me because I was so focused. <laughs> you were on driving. The exactly i was driving it and they were so focused i was so focused on the destination and everyone kind of almost hated traveling with me because i didn't i didn't enjoy the journey right mm -hmm. i didn't enjoy the the you know the the turnarounds or or, or the side tracks or, or the side roads i didn't enjoy the the landscape i just wanted to go there my point was i'm going there and that's a mm -hmm. that's a goal mindset right so we're focusing yes. on going there and when we're there then we say okay now i'm here so that's a <laughs> kind of a stagnation <laughs> period right after you get there yeah so 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 for me that's how it was before so i was a lot uh very much goal oriented and wanted to mm -hmm. tick the boxes and wanted to check the the you know my to-do list and i wanted to to achieve things and to live, deliver things and actually in the process i actually didn't enjoy the journey yeah. and, and, and i know i know that when we think about you know being growth oriented the question is not uh how long is going to take me until i get there right it, the question becomes you know how far can i go right yes that's so the, that's the key be, question yeah how I far be, can i go yeah, sorry. I, I know I maybe revealed that already, and you were going to share that, but um, yeah. So that that's actually the the shift that we have to make between how how long is going to take me to get to this level in my business, how long is going to take me to get to this level in in my leadership, how long is going to take me until I get that position or that number mm -hmm. or whatever mm -hmm. that is, and co you know, and, and shift that in in asking yourself how far can I go. Well, now I'm looking back at where we started, my wife and I in Romania, you know, in less than 10 years ago, like 20, 
2012, we were in, in a small, small town in, you know, north of Bucharest, like, you know, 10,000 inhabitants. You don't even want to know how it was there. And now <laughs> we're, we're kind of commuting between Denmark and Sweden, like crossing the border and with the ferry. And, and many people from that town have never been on a ferry. So I would just, it's just mind blowing how far we actually progressed because we, you know, at the beginning, I, I was very, very much goal oriented, right? So I would want mm -hmm. to check boxes. I wanted to uh, arrive to places, but that actually probably just got me started on the journey. And while I was on the journey, because I didn't, I didn't enjoy the journey, then I, I started to make the shift, right? Between not focusing necessarily on the next goal, but mm -hmm. trying to enjoy the journey. Say, okay, now we're here, like, and the horizon is like open. Now, mm -hmm. where do we want to go? And we almost believe that uh, whatever we want, we can actually achieve, we can make it happen because we have proved to ourselves that we have um, achieved almost whatever we, we, we wanted to. But it was more us seeking to grow on a continual basis rather than seeking to achieve goals that has kept us on the journey. Because if you achieve the house or you achieve the, you, you, you get the house, you achieve the goal, then you say, well, okay, now, now I'm set. Before <laughs> living, before before moving from Romania, we look around our our circle of friends, and and they all had already, you know, we were in our thirties, so so they had a house, they have a, a car, you know, of course, you know, on 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 a bank payment, not not, you know, already yeah. paid. Yeah, on but, a loan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on yeah. a loan, the right? Car, they were married. The house. <laughs> and and they were married, and they were getting children already in the yeah. 30s said, okay so what's next and next actually is retirement <laughs> okay well, well well imagine like you yeah, you're in for, some people, yeah, yeah for some for people, people that's for many routine. of our yeah. Yeah. many of our friends you know the next thing is is there is nothing next after that right they're in mm -hmm. a in a good job you know it pays well pays their 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 loans they have kids and and now they're they feel they're stuck and, and that's it so we didn't really, we, we didn't get excited about that kind of future. <laughs> so we, we look for something different. Uh, but, but that, I think that mindset of seeking answers and looking for new things and looking for new experiences has helped us to, to get that, you know, get started on the journey. Um, mm -hmm. But that was a long answer, actually, to your question. But I think, <laughs> uh, I, think I, I probably reveal a little bit more than, than I should, uh, uh, you know. So... Um, back to you now okay it, it was nice to actually see your example and find out about uh, how you uh, develop your goal um, your uh, personal growth mindset because I just uh, I can add uh, another thing to that when you have a goal orient when you are a goal oriented person you just need to to check goal after goal after goal. Once a goal is checked, then you follow the, the next one. Then it's checked, then you follow the next one. So it's a never ending um, story with achieving goals instead of actually enjoying the journey. Um, I know that I've, I've been there. I know what you, you're talking about because, because I've been there. And um, I just want to tell you of one example of my, my own. Uh, because I was goal oriented, um, um, I had things that I wanted to do. And when the things were not the way I wanted them to be, or I didn't achieve the goal by a specific date and time, uh, then I got frustrated and angry, angry on myself, angry on the situation, angry, angry on other people. And uh, finding out at some point about this growth mindset uh, thing, I consciously had to set a goal to discover who and after that I needed to discover who I needed to become to achieve that goal and then make small steps every, every day. Um, and I need to be honest because this might happen to uh, everybody who is listening to us now. When you are in a growth mindset, there might be some days when you're doing the, the step. Uh, but there might be some days when you're too lazy to do anything and say, oh, no, today I just want to relax. It's okay. As long as you have the big picture in your mind that you know where you want to go, you know how what kind of person you want to become, 
then uh, it's it's okay for you to have good days and bad days lazy days and very productive days um but this is this is exactly what you need to remember have the big picture in your mind and then uh create us a plan how to uh, how to get there and definitely this is something that everybody is uh, saying in this personal growth uh, industry um remember exactly or identify exactly who you need to become to be that person if you want to be a very successful leader then you won't be uh then you won't be like a very lazy uh follower or employee because this is um distinction between a good leader and just an employee that maybe even gets uh his boss in trouble because of the way he's living his life so um let me ask you from your perspective uh, florine for the leaders who have already a position for pe mm -hmm. those people who are already in a, in a leadership position how what are those steps that they can do to create in case they don't have or to develop this personal growth mindset yeah so that's a really good question i think when when i sit with leaders and, and we discuss about personal growth i think there is a misunderstanding or at least um some leaders have a difficulty to grasp you know what personal yeah. growth is right because if, if you're a leader and if you are in an organization well you are busy doing the work that you're doing and, and you believe that well because i'm doing the work that i'm doing you know i'm growing right and and, mm -hmm. and that's true to some extent right that's true to some extent but but you're growing more professionally not personally so when we talk about personal growth we talk about you as an individual and we talk about areas that are outside of your work so in other words for example for me to become the best communicator and the best teacher at the principles of human potential and leadership for me i need to develop myself in the areas of communication in the area yeah. of public speaking in the area of understanding the, how the mind works in the area of um, also social media, like that, that's something that I need to understand if this is how we communicate today. So these are areas which are outside of my work, right? So this this has not, mm -hmm. nothing to do with, with me, you know, uh, learning leadership and, and training leadership and coaching leaders, right? But they are things that help me get better. They, they are things that for me to be able to uh, develop in the areas of my my personal relationships with with my close yeah. family members absolutely if i don't have a sound and, and and healthy relationship with with people in my life then i'm not going to be able to be that kind of coach for someone so, uh -huh. so if you are a exactly. leader i think when when we think about personal development we have to look a little bit outside of the the things that are you know direct directly connected to your work like if, if you are, let's say, working in, um, in an automotive company as, as I work, right? So there were things that were re related to my job, right? That I mm -hmm. needed to know. But those were more my personal, uh, sorry, my, my professional development, uh, you know, goals. Goals. Outside mm -hmm. of that, right? What makes, what differentiate a great leader and a great individual from the rest is that they have i think the most important uh, part that should be on our personal growth list it's emotional intelligence now in today's mm -hmm. world in today's world what differentiate two great individuals like two great engineers is is the one that is able to convey their ideas in such a way that people and stakeholders and clients and suppliers understand those ideas right Yes, yes, yes. So, Emotional so those are, intelligence will make the difference, definitely. And, and those are things like the soft skills. Like many times when we look at personal development, is the soft skills that we should put on that list of personal development, right? So first mm -hmm. of all, as leaders, we yes. have to make the differentiation between it's this is my work and this is professional development. And I do those things because I required and I needed for my work. And then this is the personal development, you as individual. And when we look at personal development, we look at different areas of our life. We, we look at our relationship with, as I said, with our close family, right? We look at mm -hmm. our, um, you know, spiritual journey. If you are a person of faith, maybe you 
you you believe in in, in God or or whomever or universe or whatever that is, but you have a journey that you go on. For me, it's for example journaling. Journaling helps me connect with my intuition. As a leader, in different moments, you're gonna have to use your intuition. You don't have all the facts, and and if you yeah. if you if you're not developing that, then you're not gonna be able to make the best decisions. And 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 then there is a, you know the 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 freedom and and, and time of time and money like like now he, this is your profession but then how do you spend your your time after work right so if you don't mm -hmm. go on experiences or do things that expand your awareness like exploring culture exploring food exploring other countries seeing different perspectives those are things that expand ourselves you know as as individuals so i see personal growth as being the soft skills the you know the soft part of us which complements and enhance and and you know builds up who we are as individuals that's why i call it the you know the leader's journey you have to go on, on a personal growth journey to become a yeah. you know, successful leader yes so you you actually mentioned the word journey and I I really love this word because I like to travel a lot and I was just like you also uh, in uh, in some cases I needed to go to the destination to be there on time and I calculated my minutes uh, but at some point when I realized that it's all about the journey and discovering the small treasures around you during that journey because this is like a metaphor for personal growth if you if you're more like growth uh, uh, oriented instead of goal oriented then you might be able to see the treasures around you there may be better opportunities for you to take to get to the place you want to to, to take and uh, for the aspiring leaders i would say that what you said before uh, also applies here you need to understand um, um of course you need to have some personal uh, development and including the soft skills, including communication, including public speaking, including how to influence people. Because when you when you uh, are an inspiring leader, then you would need to cr increase your influence among them, among the people around you, so you can actually, uh, so they can actually see you as a leader. And I will I also say, uh, discover how the core values are for you. What are your core values? and align everything that you do, all your personal growth or professional growth related to the goals that you have, to, to, sorry, to the core value, values that you have. Because if you don't align them together, that means it, um, you, will, you, you would not find yourself in the journey. You will be frustrated, you will be angry, you will be unhappy. Why? Because you're doing something that is not related to who you are. And keep in mind the big picture and, and exactly describe the person that you want to become and start uh, developing yourself from there. Okay, I need to be a good communicator, then I need to improve my public speaking. Do I need to be more caring? Then I need to start uh, caring more and so on and so forth. And um, yeah, this is, uh, this is it from my part. I'm just looking at my notes. Uh, yes, there is one more thing that it's important for, uh, for anybody to, to remember. What choices do you need to make in order to become the person you want to be? Should I eat the second cookie or not? <laughs> Yeah. Like another, again, a ladder, another metaphor uh, about that. Should I do that or shouldn't I? Is this aligned to who I want to become? Yes. If yes, then do it. If not, think again, <laughs> if you really need to do that or not. Yeah, absolutely. That, that's so good. And and I think there is a couple of things that, that come to mind now. I, I have some some things uh, put down on paper for us uh, that, that I think I... Uh, will be valuable to share as well. So when you think about uh, a growth mindset, right? Um, we discussed that we thought about personal growth as being a little bit outside of your professional growth and being the you know the soft skills, soft part of you. But this is also like if you think about growth mindset, the growth mindset applies to everything we do, 
Like, because you could be having, you ask, you know, Florian, do you have a fixed mindset or a growth mindset? Well, there might be some areas of my life where I have a fixed mindset, where I don't want to try new things, where I'm comfortable with that. And for example, you know, I, I drink coffee, I drink a lot of coffee and, and I like the espressos. So for me, don't, don't get me to try anything different. And I also found a really good uh, coffee brand and I only buy uh-huh. that coffee brand and that's it. So in that area, it's I have fixed. a fixed mindset, right? <laughs> I don't want to, but this is one of to those try things. New that, coffee. Exactly. This is one of those things that, well, I want that to be a, a non-question. So I don't want to wake up in the morning and, and wonder, you know, I wonder how the coffee would taste today. That's an area where I want to know that there is a consistency, <laughs> right? So, so that's maybe where I have a growth mind, or I have a, a fixed mindset. But there are then areas where I need to have a growth mindset. And, and, and what, what do we do? Like, what's, how does a growth mindset look like? So for me, I got four, four things that I extracted for us. So first is asking questions, right? So if you have a growth mindset, you're going to tend to ask more questions rather than giving answers. So whenever you are in a conversation with someone, and we just had a conversation yesterday with, with someone we just met at a beach, and, and then we tend many times to share our experience And I started to kind of share my view on things rather than asking more questions and get more of their Mm -hmm. view because I can grow when I learn more from someone rather than sharing what I already know. So asking questions is the first sign of a growth mindset. Then there is Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. keeping a high standard for ourselves and and actually raising that bar because many people with with age and, and the more they advance in their careers, they tend to kind of lower the standards. And now I'm in my 50s, so okay, now I, I cannot get better from now. It's probably going to get worse. And, and this is the expectation. Mm-hmm. I talk with my parents, and, and they're in their 60s, and they say, well, now what you expect from our health, it, it will only degrade, like just go down. I said, well, not necessarily, depending what you do. Right? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So we tend to have, uh, because we're still young, right? And we tend to have a higher uh, a, a raising standard up until a point, and then we kind of became complacent, and we, we we keep that standard, or we actually get lower. When you say, "Well, what's your goal for this year?" Well, I, I we want to do at least uh, as well as last year. Well, why not better than last year, right? Yeah. So that's that's a, a sign of a, a growth a growth mindset. Then. Someone which has a growth mindset, it's also people-centric. In other words, they yep. care about people and they're interested in other people. And if I'm really interested in you as individual, then I'm, I'm, it's impossible for us to grow without involving other people. And if I am self-centered and I talk about me, like when we meet with someone, I say, just share, share I, I tend to talk more about me and my experience. And, and, and you know... The trip that I, I was on last year or, or yesterday, rather than asking some question and, and asking you what trip were you on and what did you learn from that trip and, and maybe something that will change my perspective on, on things. Or instead of me trying to convince you of my opinion, let me just ask you your opinion and maybe change my perspective because of your opinion. And then uh, the, the last part would be kind of staying today focused. In other words, do not be too excited about the the you know the things you done yesterday, or neither too too mad at yourself that you didn't do the things that you were yeah, supposed yeah. to do yesterday, right? So stay focused on today because the only thing that you could change is is what you're gonna do today and, and maybe the future, but not the past. So so when we become complacent, we talk about well, ten years ago when I was with uh, you know with that company, this is what we've done and. Well, okay, that was 10 years ago, right? Not available anymore. Yep. Exactly. It's changed. Uh, exactly. What I think John Maxwell says that yesterday ended last night. Right? So so let's let's talk about today. And and tomorrow yeah. is not yet here. So let's talk about today. So that that's yeah. kind of four characteristics of, of a great mindset and, and um how that shows up in, in you know in our daily lives. Well, 
listening to you and of course uh, having other ideas in my head i can tell and i can uh, make a bet that we have a lots of lots of lots of things to discuss about personal growth especially because we are in this in the an industry yeah. and also how how it's uh, related to leadership uh, but uh, we uh, need to keep this uh, this uh, this episode uh, in a, in a short frame yeah. so uh, we are happy to discuss with you afterwards if you have any questions or related on personal growth uh, just put it on the chat and we will be very happy to to answer and we can have maybe another conversation on this one uh, I would just want to introduce the next episode, the next uh, subject for the next epi episode for the self-leadership, which is vision. A leader right. needs to have a vision and we will discuss about what vision is and how can uh, the vision help the leader and how to develop a, a vision in case you don't have a vision yet. Absolutely. I look forward to that. So thank you so much for watching today. And we look forward to see you again on the next episode next, next Monday. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye.